I am so happy to be joining you on a beautiful Thursday. We are spring showers. I am April showers. Isn't it spring showers, April showers? Oh my goodness. What is the, the saying for that? Do you guys know? Uh, comment and let me know. Um, April showers. My birthday is in April and I should know this terminology, but honestly, I've been fighting migraines all week. So um, I'm just going to double check really quickly that we are live and you guys can hear me on YouTube and that you can hear me on Facebook. When you're joining us, can you let me know what channel you're on? Are you on YouTube, are you on Facebook? Where are you guys? Let's let's comment and let me know. Uh, let me hit no thanks. Let me hear. Where are you? Okay, good, good. Uh, I'm gonna hit. Make sure you guys take a second to share this video because sharing is caring. You can share it on Pinterest. You can share it onto your Facebook pages, onto your work pages. You name it. It's amazing. And did you know it's absolutely free? You know. That's the best thing you can do for somebody who you are benefiting from some of their online stuff is always take a second just to share this sharing is bear caring and be the care bearer in the life of the world. That's what I got to say, y'all. That's what I got to say. Okay, so I'm just going to double check that every channel is coming up okay. How is it in your neck of the woods? Are you getting drained, uh, rained upon? Um, it does say I am live. I want to make sure that you can hear me on Facebook. Awesome. Let's just double check. Perfect. So um, again, you guys make sure you take a second to like and share the video. That is amazing and so highly appreciated. I greatly appreciate it when you do that. It means the world to me. So thank you so much. I uh, just want to share it into a group of our girls to more options to a group, to the stampas. Okay. There we go. I have a, such a beautiful card this week. Um, it's, it's actually one of those cards that when you create it and it comes to life, you're like, oh, oh yeah. Like that's why I do what I do and I love what I do when I do it. So there is that. Let's go back to make sure that everything is happening okay. Good job. Hi, Ina, my love. Hi, Kiwi. First time here. I'm so glad you are. Good. Hello, Lisa. It's good to see you guys. All good on YouTube. I'm so grateful. So you guys, we are embracing the Encircled in Nature Bundle. Now this is a free class that starts next week and you can receive it and join us live on Thursdays to create with this. We're also going to be doing the Latte Love class on Tuesday. So I'll be live next week and the next couple of weeks, twice a week on Thursdays and Tuesdays for these two classes. And if you'd like them mailed to you, all you have to do is order them or a like bundle from me. For each bundle that you order, you can receive the class for free and you can just join with us and create with us live. So there is that. Um, I was recently at the most amazing event. Uh, it is a beautiful bundle, Lisa. Um, I was at a life surge event where I had the pleasure of meeting Willie Robertson and um, Nick Voljak and Craig Gauchel and some other amazing people, Priscilla Schreier. Uh, just an amazing day. And so I made with this same class, the same bundle, an amazing card that I will have a video for you guys to see, to give to them because I had the pleasure of getting to meet them so that's pretty cool and it's neat to know that a little handmade card can make it and cheer somebody up who does all of their work to inspire others which I think is so cool this is the card we're creating today and it's inspired by the eclipse that we had this week do you like it do you love it there's so much going on here but it gets even better are you ready thank you Lisa it will come up and open up and isn't that stunning so I just love 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 this so much hi Pauline nice to see you and then when we open the card I'm doing it from the live you guys it's a great little Z fold inside um, it gives them a beautiful galaxy view and this stargazing um, designer series paper and the Tahitian tide are retiring so do not do not miss out on this paper it is a must-have you can use this for kids all like adults kids kids at heart you name it um, or for me like I love this so um, we're gonna be grabbing and creating this right now are you ready are you set? Let's dive on in. Okay. Okay, my friends, I'm going to zoom in. 
I like to warn you before we dive in, if you haven't already, subscribe and hit that bell so you can join us all week long. I've got some great videos that are coming your way. We have had um, an intense uh, kitchen remodel happening and it's kind of paused right now. And I, I know that we should have it done in the next three weeks. I had wanted it done by my birthday. I don't think it's going to happen, my friends, not at all, but we're getting closer and closer and closer. Um, so this gorgeous card is going to come together to really wow. And I like, and there's an example here. I like to stay pretty simple on the exterior of a card like this. This gorgeous oxidized copper designer sh specialty paper should be carrying over. And I love this paper. So easy to work with. It's dynamic. It's beautiful. It is sure to take your breath away. It has two colors per pack. So then you really get the blues and then you get that beautiful pink that comes with it. But the stargazing, the stargazing is my jam. Um, I own a river um, and we have a peninsula that we own as well. And there's this gorgeous collection of trees and over the water and you see all the stars. I love, love, love it. So we're going to create this. It's easy peasy lemon squeezy. Look at that. And so this came into mind for some amazing birthdays that came to this week and I'm a little behind because we've had a couple hiccups this week but uh, God is good and receiving a handmade card even if it's late is still graceful so all of the measurements for this and the supplies are linked in the description below and on my blog at gettingcrafty.net it'll be live in about 20 minutes you guys so hi Leah nice to see you sister um, so we're gonna dive right in again this encircled in nature bundle is an online exclusive and it's stunning the thing is when you see this you don't realize how big it is and I wanted you to see just how encompassing it is. Look at that. It's like bigger, as big as my palm. That is a gorgeous wreath. And it has so many dyes and coordinating stamps and beautiful greetings that you cannot go wrong. You just can't. So we're going to dive in and do so. Now, um, in my video, I'm going to give you some tips and tricks on how to use these dyes. And this die is going to come together and you should see a negative space right there. Do you see that right there? And that's where these two little pieces will line up and that will be our negative space. So I wanted you to know that. And you, this is very flexible. I could have even incorporated that gorgeous, um, the moon and the stars in this, but I didn't do that because I love the idea of just the stars and the galaxies shining through right there. So there it is. Let's dive in. Now, uh, this paper is so flexible and beautiful and really so vibrant. Um, but I want to really embrace where this goes like so. So you can flip it either way. So whatever piece you wanted to be on the front. So say you wanted the front to be uh, a little bit darker. Say you wanted it to be more like this. You have that option. But girls, join me in celebrating that little uh, Milky Way beauty that you see right there. Isn't that gorgeous? It's so pretty. Um, and so hold on one second. My notifications are going crazy on my phone and my laptop. So there you go. Uh, so what we're going to do in order to create this, we're going to put the piece down and we're going to come up and we're going to fold just like so. I have to say there is um, some amazing, the Brennan Brothers, it was an amazing event. If you can get to one of the Life Surge events, I highly recommend it. It's about um, kingdom building and uh, building for your generations uh, wealth. It's just, it was amazing to hear the word and some worship. And um, I went by myself as a treat to myself and it's kind of fun. Go to events on your own. You deserve it really easy. Now we have this gorgeous Knight of Navy cardstock. We have a piece of basic white. We're not going to want to lose those. And if you know me, <laughs> I can lose it while we're creating. So you can take it just, I do a little fold just so it's easier to see the score line for this. We're going to use the cut and emboss machine right here. And we're going to come over and we're just going to die cut the front of this card easy peasy. This is one of those cards. I would create a hundred of these because I love how beautiful it came out. And I have to say, use the designer series paper. Go ahead, celebrate that gorgeous collection of designer series paper that you might be hoarding and use it. Bless somebody. There's a reason you fell in love with it. So create with it because there's going to be a new collection every time. And so maybe you stockpile some that you just come back to um, and you hate to get rid of that last piece. I had a, one of our ladies, Connie, was just talking about that recently. And she's like, I hate the idea of using it the last time. I said, oh, I get that, girl. 
I get it. So we have this front here. Don't lose this. This will make a great die cut. It's got a good size to it. And then you want to come in and you want to remove that little black, or the Knight of Navy piece and use that on another card. I can't wait to show you how I'm going to do so. Now, I'm going to set this aside here. Boom shakalaka. And then what we're going to do is set this to the side for one second. Don't lose it. Then we're going to take that Tahitian Tide. Now, Tahitian Tide is in color that's available for two years, and I'm sad to see it go. I love how vibrant it is. If you know me, I'm all about the pow wow color, and I love how it partners so well with the Knight of Navy ink pad. So you talk about easy. Oh my gosh, girls, this is the a fun card that is easy to create. So we want to go in and ink it. Now, when you're using photopolymer, it's most ideal to stamp with a pierce mat underneath of your image. Here, we're going to stamp, do a wiggle. Don't do a rock, do a wiggle. And what's funny is I wiggle my tushy when I do that. Shh, we don't talk about that, but it's true. I will go and wiggle my tushy when I'm doing that. Do you guys do that too? <laughs> Then I have to close my Knight of Navy ink. I'll tell you why. If not, I'll get my hands in the middle of it. Then I want you to see here. Remember these two little pieces? We're going to go ahead and line it up just like so. It's kind of a little bit of a puzzle. And once you get it where you want, you can either let the current sticky notes be here and hold it. But if you've been using it for a while, maybe they aren't sticking. Grab another sticky note. They're not expensive. And just adhere it to the front of the card. Then we're gonna die cut that again really quickly. Boom, boom, boom. What is the weather like in your guys' area? Leah, what's it like in California? I know we had rain that really torrentially started last night. Oh, that's true, you guys. My friend Leah is an amazing hula uh, master. She teaches people the hula dance. Uh, she is phenomenal. She's one of my favorite people. Not as she's gorgeous. She's like just vivacious and wonderful. Um, and we've known each other for years. I mean, gosh, can you believe it, Leah? The years have gone, but we don't age. It's amazing. But she said here, if you guys didn't know, she says, if you wiggle your tushy, it's called the hula. <laughs> okay, I don't have the skills. And how did I not take your class when we get, used to live near each other? Probably because I was having babies all the time. That's when I was happening. Um, okay, y'all. So there it is. Whew, I thought I lost it. Again, that's beautiful. Do not lose it. Just pull off this piece here. Incorporate that to die cut trees, cut, cut flowers. You have flex with that. And I'm going to set this aside so I don't lose it. Now, we're going to come in and using our bone folder. Aw, don't embarrass you. Girl, you celebrate how awesome you are. She's amazing. Do you still have that big studio on the back part of your property? She takes scrapbooks, you guys, these giant scrapbooks and custom makes them. And it's just phenomenal. She's, she's a great lady and I love her. And then we're gonna take this, uh, it folded. Is it raining in Ohio? What part of Ohio are you in, Lisa? Because I'm near Fort Wayne, Indiana. I'm actually between Fort Wayne and Marion. And um, my one of my dearest friends is flying into Columbus, Ohio, which is about two and a half hours away. I have to GPS everything because I couldn't tell you where a thing is for my life. And I'm actually debating going and seeing her. Even if it's for an hour, I would be willing to drive two and a half hours for her. And she just thought that was so funny. She knows me, y'all. She knows me. I totally would do it. Now, we need a pencil. Did you know you need a pencil in crafting? <laughs> Hi, Teresa. Excuse me as I... Um, winked my nose there. Now we need a pencil and I really like these uh, paper mate pencils because they're really fine uh, little pencil lead and they're clear and they're pretty and it's lots of color and I'm all about the color. Now what we're going to do my friends is we're going to go in holding this down we're just going to very lightly trace out where that wreath is. Let me tell you it's not going to hurt you at all. This is going to get covered up and you won't even notice it but even if not it's pencil you don't even notice it there throw your Lisa says northeast and our southwest southeast of Cleveland near the P the Pennsylvania border okay I suck at geography but I know that's probably about three and a half hours away from me instead of two and a half that my girlfriend is well sure because if you're an hour southeast of Cleveland that might make sense I I, I don't know I am horrible with geography it comes it comes from 
we were all, I, I, I don't know, my dyslexia is a big part of it. Now I'm going to stamp this tree that I inked up with the Knight of Navy ink, and I'm going to stamp it just inside of the pencil line that I did. You can raise it just a smidge and give it a good little wiggle. We can hold a little hula with our uh, clear blocks. Just do a little hula. And we can even do a little beautiful presentation that way. <laughs> is that good enough, Leah? Did I do a good job? I know you'll say I did even if I didn't. <laughs> okay, sisters. So remember we have this negative space and I kept it in the same placement and you're gonna see how it lines up just like so here. But I don't want this piece right here. I'm a little A-type about weird things. Oh, okay, Lisa. Thank you, my dearest. Um, so we, one of my downline lives uh, here near uh, Cleveland, Ohio, and I'm gonna be going to see her uh, as well. I've been making, to my husband's dismay, he hates when I'm gone. He hates, especially now that there's all this uh, new kitchen construction happening. I have been inundated with everything that we're doing with the new kitchen and I'm drowning just a little bit. My middle daughter is learning uh, to drive and so she was going doing some errands so she can get her drive time in. And she said, mom, this errand should have been 15 to 20 minutes. It is three and a half hours and we are not done. I was like, that is my life, sister. Like, that's what happens. She's like, no wonder. I just thought you were avoiding us. <laughs> you guys, she thought I was avoiding her. How funny is that? Okay, now you need to hold it down and you're going to go in and I kind of find the bottom easier to notch in. Come in and go like so. And holding the card down, use it as a template to put that in there and hold it. Do your little, uh, you need a break girl. Oh, Lisa, I, I do need a break. Sometimes I do hide in my car, but we don't tell the girls. So I'm going to count to five, four, and five. Then we're going to raise this. Let me tell you, there's a secret tool that you should have. This is our embossing powder, um, our embossing pack. I can't think of the name of it right now. But when I use the multi-purpose liquid adhesive, and I might have been a little heavy-handed, I'm going to go in and with this embossing buddy, and I'm going to pat, kind of like we're powdering our nose. I'm going to pat the area that the adhesive might have overrun on. But isn't that beautiful? Just like that. I think it's stunning. I homeschool or have homeschooled my last four children. My two oldest stepdaughters are grown and I have a grandson and they're married back in California. And so we miss them every day. It's very challenging to be away from your loved ones, but it was also very challenging to live in California. That's where we're from if you didn't know that. Now I did take these dies and I wanted you guys to see them here and I've already die cut because I didn't think that we needed to do it together. I figured you trust me. So I took these three dies. So there's a larger tree that you see there. There's a tree line that you see there and there's a tiny tree line that you see right here. Now this is where it might be a little tricky. Are you ready for some trickiness? It's a little magic. Uh, one of the things I love about Hula is that it's every part of their toes to their fingers to even their hair flows. It's just magnificent. And we have this oxidized copper that you see right here. Pull your happy little pieces or happy little trees, you know, or a little Bob Rossi there um, on the, the happy little trees. Let me see here. And we have this gorgeous, and it's mixed media. So it's got the copper. It's got a couple different cut tones of blues on there. It's shiny. Hello, I love shiny. And then I die cut the other two pieces, and they're here at the bottom of my little bag. My friend Rhonda sewed me these gorgeous little bags, and I thought it was funny because it matches uh, the dies that I did. But this is where one of the things I do. I encourage you guys, have little bags or containers that you can put your little hanging pieces in as you're creating so that you can actually not lose them. Again, if you'd like to receive this free class in the mail, make sure you let me know. I'd love to send it to you. All you have to do is shop with me using my hostess code and um, purchase this bundle and the other bundle or a like bundle for each and I will send it to you if you already own these. Now, this is an important thing. You want to really have predominantly this tree off to the side. You just want it peekabooing here. And I really need to see where I'm going to cut it off. I'm gonna come down on this lower half right here. So we're gonna come in, go to the bottom three right there, just a little bit, a little schmear right there, just the bottom pieces. 
right there. I would say this is a little bit more delicate and I would be careful when applying it to, um, or adding it to an envelope because that top piece is not adhesived down. And I really want a little dab right behind this one leaf right here, a branch. There we go. And remember that embossing, buddy? Flip it over in case you have any adhesive that might be peeking through. Take your embossing, buddy, and just tap. Now, I had an amazing revelation. I was at a dentist appointment this morning. Did anybody else grow up watching Star Trek? My daddy was a total Trekkie. And so I grew up watching Star Trek every day. Like it was on TV on channel, I think, 12. Um, it's funny what we remember, isn't it? And so my uncle looks and acts a lot like Uncle Spock. Or Dr. Spock. Uncle Spock. Oh my gosh, isn't that funny? I just said Uncle Spock. And my daughter says, so she's with me, she'd never seen Star Trek. And I was realizing my daddy passed away before she was born. And so my daughter was like, you mean to tell me just because they has pointed ears and really weird eyebrows, he's an alien? <laughs> I said, sometimes it's just a matter of their clothing, honey. And she's like, huh, people back then. I was like, we didn't have all this science fiction, like hoopla that we have with the computers nowadays. It's so funny, you guys. So funny. Did anybody else grow up watching Star Trek? I don't know. I loved that show. I was, I realized I really did love that show with my dad. Maybe it's just because it was something that he enjoyed doing. He did try to get me to read. I'm an, I'm a voracious reader and I love romances. And so I used to do murder mystery. I just don't do those anymore. Hi, Teresa. Did you too? That's so funny, isn't it? And we're going to tuck this one tree down here in the corner. A little separation will cause balance to this card. This is very very heavy in the center. And this little catalyst at the bottom will cause interest. And it's really easy to do. So here we have this great little Z fold inside. And you don't even notice the orange, but it's so vibrant. Like it's not taking it away. And it's stunning, right? So this is so easy, but we really want an area to write inside. Total Trekkie. Thanks for the tip on using the embossing buddy. I've been using a small makeup brush. Oh, and baby powder. Oh no, this is so much easier. Leah. Like, it's just going to blow your mind. Um, I've been doing that for years because I'm a little sloppy with my crafting sometimes, sister. Now we're going to take that Night of Navy ink pad and we're going to use the greeting from that beautiful encircled in nature again this free class is waiting for you guys just let me know if you'd like to get your hands on yours you can see it on my blog at gettingcrafty.net and you can also reach out to me and pm me on my um, social media um, or you can text me now we're going to stamp and this has made this year be incredible and filled with possibilities go ahead stamp it down do a little hula wiggle do not rock it that's really important and then pop it down. Photopolymer has a tendency to cling to the paper, so keep that in mind. Now, this is also another thing I like to do, my girls, is I grab my Simply Chamois, and I have it in a clear case, so I don't ruin my surface, and it keeps it moist for a little bit longer. And so about once every few days, uh, maybe once a week even, I will run this under hot water and squeeze it. It will always be stained, but let me tell you, it's amazing at cleaning my finger it's just a microfiber and water, so no chemicals, which always makes me really happy. Photopolymer stamps can be dyed because of the ink. They just aren't red rubber. They are lovely. It's not the same quality. So I'm going to come in and really make sure that I've cleaned this out nice and easy. We're going to take those trees and do that as well. You can put this in your dishwasher and your washing machine. I would not put it with my clothes, whatever you do. I know that's water-based ink. I just don't trust it. Don't trust it because I have bad luck with such things. <laughs> so there you go. Now I'm going to put my Night of Navy away and I'm going to get out these stunning brushed metallic adhesive backed dots. I love them. And we're going to apply this to the inside. The reason I stamped it outside of the card was so that if I messed up, I can either flip it over or get a new piece. You also want to store your multi-purpose liquid adhesive upside down. So I store it in a container where its tip is down, as that's the tip I use primarily, though it's two-sided two tips. Isn't that kind of neat? So um, I've always had, I always thought my uncle and my grandfather, who look very much alike, and my daddy. Daddy looked a bit more like grandma, which I look like. 
but my uncle and my grandfather, I always thought they were so handsome. I still think they're so handsome. I miss grandpa, but I have the blessing of being, we moved here in Indiana to be near my uncle. So look at, see how that greeting goes right there? It's this universal, never ending kind of card. Isn't that lovely? Now on back order, sadly, is our Wink of Stella and it's a glycerin based um, glitter. So I'm just gonna go in and just add a little bit to the trees, but because it is glycerin based, it will pull this water based ink and blend it a little bit. I just want a twinkle in there. I don't want a ton. And you can even take and just kind of add it. If you want to clear your tip, that's what I like to do. Now I want to tie in the copper. Can you see the copper right there? Copper is such a beautiful embellished uh, metallic. I love it. So I'm going to take my take your pick tool and this here. Now, when you are using an embellishment, you want to, you have to go to Chula class. Of course you do. Thank you so much, sister. If you create something like this, I would love to see what you create. And I'm going to encourage you guys, use your designer series papers up. Use the pretty papers because not only do you deserve to create with it, but other people deserve to receive it. Now, odd numbers are most ideal when you are creating with embellishments or um, adding an accent or stamping or any of that odd number. So there's three. I think it's a little lacking because this card is a little bit more simplistic on the outside. I don't mind throwing just a couple more on there. Hmm. Maybe I want to balance it. I don't want it to be in the same line as the others. Now I'm just going to place sure I put the lid on top of this and I keep molding it as I'm using it. And as it gets old, I'll just pull it off and squeeze it again and keep it going. Always purchase the backup for that. So this little tip is loaded. And once you need to replace it, you make sure you have others on hand so that you can do it with no thinking at all. So here we go, my friends. We have a beautiful little hidden fun fold. This card will deliver wonderfully because this tips right here of these trees are not adhesive down. Be careful when placing it inside of the envelope. This is a tip. If you want to send an, a card and you're worried about the embellishments on the outside of the card, you can either insert a designer, a piece of thinner paper, like maybe the basic white, or you can turn your card inside out and stick it in the envelope. Now this embellishment is gonna be on the inside and it's not gonna get snagged. And that little paper, if you have the talc on there, it will just wipe off. And so we go from this beautiful scene inspired by our solar eclipse this week to a really lovely Z fold card. What do you think? Do you like it? Do you love it? Do you want some more of it? I know I do. I love it. So yes, so beautiful. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you guys so much. Uh, this is just one of the many beautiful kinds of cards we'll be creating with this upcoming class. So make sure you don't miss out and um, keep me in your thoughts and prayers. This kitchen remodel has been having me pull my hair out um, and I am praying for so many friends. If you are in need of prayer and you just need somebody who will cover you in prayer, let me know. I'm always here to pray for you, um, encourage you to be creative and be the best you that you can be because you deserve it. And the world deserves a little bit more of you in it. So this is my card for the evening. If you haven't already subscribe, hit that bell, catch any upcoming videos that will be suggested right here so that you don't miss out on all the creating. Oh, I love it. It's like a portal into like the, the beauty and wonder that God creates around us all the time. And who knew that that bright Tahitian tide is the perfect balance to offset that wreath and not take away from it. So there you go. I adore it. I hope you do as well. Have a good evening. Comment and let me know what you love most about this card. Catch all of the supplies and the measurements for it on my blog at gettingcrafty.net. That's gettingcrafty.net. And subscribe and hit that bell if you haven't so that we can create with you all week long. Thanks for joining us. God bless. Have